All right, y'all, so on this video here, we're gonna be doing a unboxing. This is a brand new Badger Sotar 2020 that I just ordered. This is not a sponsor. I'm not affiliated with Badger. All my airbrush guns and supplies, I pay out of pocket with my own money. But we're gonna go ahead and get this opened up. Like I said, it's a Badger Sotar 2020. Get this open up and take a look at it. Well, I guess it would help if I cut the tape off the sides. Ah, right, there we go. <clears throat> mm, excuse me. All right, it comes with some paperwork, which I'll take a look at that in a second. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so just the box. With the brown wrapping paper. And here we have Badger Airbrush Company 2020 2F, made in the USA. And we got the Badger sticker on it, and a UPC number, and a warning label right there. All right. This feels like a, a cheap case. This case feels real cheap compared to some of the other airbrush guns that I bought. All right, well, the styrofoam done fell down. Got a piece of styrofoam there. What is this? Congrats on your new Badger airbrush. Please don't lose this card. Keep with your airbrush. If you need assistance with your airbrush, do not return to the dealer. Hopefully, I don't need no assistance. The Badger Sotar 2020 instruction booklet. Pretty much talks about the warranty and congratulations on your new purchase. Then it gives a breakdown of all the um, parts list. All right. As you can see, it's in this case right here. It does not come with any airbrush hose. Pretty much just the airbrush gun and the little disassemble L wrench. But I own Badger airbrush guns in the past and I always keep my old airbrush parts because you never know when you're gonna need them. So it looked like it comes with a piece of plastic or something in there. I don't know if that's supposed to be in there, but it has a little piece of plastic in there. Comes with a rubber protective cap. And my main reason for getting this airbrush gun here, the Badger Sotar 2020, no needle cap. If y'all been following me for a while on all my airbrush videos, y'all see I always take the needle cap off. This one comes with no needle cap. And I'm hoping I can get some fine line, some real fine detail with this airbrush gun. So we're gonna put this back on to protect the needle right quick. And that's the little rubber cap top mm, not bad not bad let's check out this trigger I guess that was just a little piece of plastic I don't know if y'all can see that uh, right there can y'all see that whatever that was just 
I don't know, must have just fell in there. Let's check out the trigger. Oh, I did not like that. That doesn't feel right. Or at least doesn't feel like my other airbrush guns. Oh, I guess it's just... Hmm. All right. Let me glance at this instruction booklet. I do like everybody else. Get with it and start messing with it, trying to figure it out before you even read the instruction booklet. But let me go ahead and read the instruction booklet right quick because I don't want to break it. And then I get right back with you. All right, so I finished reading the instructions and I have it set up. This is why you never throw any old airbrush parts away. So even though I no longer have any more badgers, this is the only badger that I own right now. I still kept all the air hoses for the other badgers I had. Well, the only other badger I had, which was a Badger Renegade. And I wanna show y'all this right here. You see how cheap and cheesy this box is? The Badger, new one, 2020 um, 2F. This is their old case for when I had my um, Badger Renegade. I got this like a year after I started airbrushing and I didn't know how to properly clean them and it kept jamming up on me. The paint kept spitting and messing up and I got frustrated and threw it and broke it. But we live and learn. But look at this box. Nice little lock and latch on it. Compared to this new box. Come on Badger, what's going on? Are you trying to save money or what? All right, so. Like I said, I got it all hooked up. The trigger is nice, and I, I like how it feels in my hand, too. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of paint put in here and see what it's going to be able to do. All right, y'all, so I got some paint mixed up in here, and I was messing around with it, and Still just trying to get used to it. Not used to this um, airbrush gun. Trying to get used to the um, trigger and try to get used to the airbrush gun. But I'm not gonna sit there and, and bore y'all with that. I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of practice exercises and do some training with it. And the next video I put out, I'm gonna go ahead and try to airbrush a project with it. But I got this one specifically for doing fine line detail. So let me go ahead and mess around with it. Like I said, initial thoughts. I like how the uh, airbrush gun looks. I like how it feels in my hand. Not a big fan of the trigger, but I say I got to mess around with it for a while. This box, come on, Badger. Y'all can do it way better than this. But let me go ahead and mess around with it. And then I'll um, try to use it in the next painting I do. And... Give y'all an update.